It was after a screening of uh, a rough cut of The Happiest Millionaire. And he was holding uh, meetings outside. He was talking to Norman Tokar, the director, and Bill Anderson, the producer, the co-producer with Walt, actually, of the film. And then he was sort of like walking down the hall, I remember, and he stopped by us. And he never used to compliment us. He'd always, always say, it'll work, you know, nice. Or he'd never say nice. And this time he, he stopped and he, he said, keep up the good work, boys. I always saw him on this long corridor. He was walking and limping. And uh, I said, gosh, you look as though you're in pain, Walt. He said, no, it's nothing. He said, there's no polo injury. I've got to go and have my back back fix. And I remember he said, you know, I'm going to, uh, I'll, be, I'll be going when I go, I've left the hospital now, and when I, uh, I'm going to go to Palm Springs, and we'll set up down there, and you guys, we'll have meetings out there, and you guys can come out to Palm Springs. And of course, I, I have a rather expressive face if, if somebody's saying they're going to get their back fixed and he's the god of all men and he says he's going to have his back fixed, it means going to ruin his back for him. And I'm going to lose him. <laughs> I said, God, a back? He said, oh, come on, Peter, don't get, get me concerned about it. I was in front of a camera, just like now, and he appeared just, just to the, it was to the left, to the, the camera right, and I saw him, he looked very gaunt. He looked very thin, and his suit was just hanging on him, and it shocked me. Uh, I, since he was just behind the camera, I realized that he had seen my, my almost distressed look. Actors have a way of knowing how they, how they react to things. And uh, I walked over to him trying to cover my reaction. I said, Walt, I said, how's your neck? because we had been told he was across the street in the hospital for uh, a study of his neck or, or something to do with a vertebrae. And uh, he said, neck hell, they took out my left lung. I have talked to several people, and they said he was really seriously ill, that he'd never recover. And so toward the last, I had, had lost any hope, even, even though he came over and, and acted quite a bit of his his normal self. I felt that there'd be some doctor flown in from maybe Europe or uh, some specialist. Uh, I never dreamed that Walt Disney would die. I didn't think they'd let him. I uh, went into his room and as Diane said, uh, evidently I reacted in a strange way and I backed up because I was looking at a man that was so much of my life, so much of my, my children's life, my wife's life, and he had gone. Well, I tell you, I never cried when our dad died. See, I did when Walt died, and I'm darn near close to it right now. I, I you know, somebody asked me one time about uh, where were you when John Kennedy was shot? And, you know, that was a terrible thing. But to me, when Walt died, it was many times more devastating than that. That's how hard it, it hit me. Such a huge shock and, and such a waste. My gosh, can you imagine how many more wonderful things were inside that man? Months later, I would wake up crying and thinking, I've lost Walt. I could only cry if I woke up without knowing I was going to be crying. The day of his funeral, the day of his memorial service, my wife answered the phone. It was CBS radio calling. They wanted to speak to me. And my wife was able to say, Ray's not here. He's on his way to Disneyland with the children. Huh? And this was planned months ahead. Had nothing to do with the funeral. And when I came home and heard that she was able to say that on the phone, I cried. Huh? I was so glad that I had done the right thing without knowing it. Huh? And for at least five, five or six years after he passed on, I think all of us at the studio felt that uh, we were that he was still there, because I know in in some of the meetings, uh, somebody said, "Well, Walt wants 
this. And Walt was long gone. And every kid on the planet who's privileged enough to see a movie, a Disney movie, gets, obviously he's a legend that will never ever die. When he died, it was devastating.